Deutsch with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine Products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Loy, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine. I've put so many extra accessories on my boat, I've run out of switches on my switch panel. So I'm gonna install a new switch panel with it. Got a plug, three extra switches for my new accessories. Already has fuses built in, so I don't have to worry about adding fuses to the boat line or anything. And all I've gotta do is take my, my leads and extend it to my old switch panel, the power feed to my old switch panel, just jump off of it, I can come straight to here along with ground and I can have it done. Got to measure out a hole, cut it out to actually be able to insert the switch panel through, drill it in, seal it, and we're done and ready to go. Show you how we're going to do that. First thing, we found where we're going to mount it, we're going to take a square and a pencil, make sure that we're lined up good with our old switch panel and everything. We don't want to have our switch panel in here cocked or anything. We'll just draw a reference line across for square. Then we'll take our template and we'll put it in here. Make sure it's all going to fit, which will be good. Then we'll take some masking tape. Tape our panel down. And then we can draw it out. And that's where we're going to mount our switch at. Then we take a half inch drill, make sure you wear safety glasses so you don't get anything in your eyes when you're drilling or using the jigsaw. I'm going to drill a couple of holes just to be able to get our That'll allow us to get our jigsaw down here. Come on. Now that we have it rough cut out, we can trim our edges a little bit. and our panel should fit. Right in. Now we gotta wire it. We're gonna use the, the power and the ground off the back of the old switch panel. So I've gotta pull it out. On this panel I gotta pull the face plate off of it to get the screws on the back side so that I can get it off of there. Uh, a lot of panels just have open screws around them. You just pull the screws out and 
you'll be able to get to the back side of the switches that way. Now I've got my panel out. I can get to my power feed, which is this wire here. My ground feed's here, and I'll be able to just jump off of those and go straight to my other switch without having to run wires all the way up to my battery. Now I've got to extend my wires on the back of my switch panel to be able to reach this panel since I can't access the back of it. Good possibility if you're pulling a main panel out that's got a, a separate switch panel on it, you can go ahead and install the new switch panel in it and not actually have to extend your wires. I'm going to have to, so we'll just figure we need about a foot, foot of extra wire to make the loop around and uh, we'll get everything set up out here and wire everything up and then we'll be able to install our switches. I've actually extended my wires. You can see how we did that in the uh, electrical video that we have. And I also picked up some piggyback connectors to make it a lot easier to hook to my new uh, my new switch panel over to my old panel. Basically they're spade connectors that just have a little piggyback male side on it so I can take the connectors that are on my old switch panel and slide them right onto these and connect onto the where the power comes in at. Make sure when, before you install it you put the gasket on the back side of the switch Then you can run your wires and the black one goes onto the ground side like so and my input is right here slide that down and now we're wired up. One thing you want to make sure you do before you start disconnecting the wires is make sure you disconnect your battery. We disconnected it while we were waiting for our liquid electric tape to dry so we know we have no power back here. Okay, got all of our wires hooked up. We can install our old panel again. Ready to install our new panel. Make sure your rubber gasket's in place. Slide the wires back in. We'll line it up. Then we'll take a 330 seconds drill bit. Do a little pre-drill. The switch comes with stainless steel mounting screws.
Got it in there solid now. Pull it back out real quick. We'll clean all the dust out from our drill residue. We're gonna take our leads coming up from our accessories, hook them to the open post on our switches. Take some sealant and put in the holes that we drill just to seal the screw holes, make sure we don't get any water or moisture into those to cause it to delaminate or, or rot out the wood behind it. And then we're ready to put our panel back in. Put a couple of screws in here that we hold the gasket in place. Line everything up. Just going to start these right now so we can get the bottom of the gasket in. Line the bottom up. Go ahead and put these in. Put our face plate back on our old panel. Now all we gotta do is hook our battery back up and check our systems, make sure everything we've got everything working on it. Okay, we've got our battery hooked back up. Check everything out. Nice LEDs that come on for each one of our systems. It also comes with a, a sticker sheet where you can actually depending on what system you have. We put a bilge pump in this one. We can stick it over one of the lights and it'll actually light the bilge pump up on there so you'll know what system you're turning on. Uh, also, in this installation, I just jumped over to my old switch panel for my ground and my power. You can run a straight ground and power straight up to your battery if you'd rather do that. We've got our switch panel done, ready to go.